All right. So you finished your senior year of high school, you got into college, and now you're just um, waiting to start that first day of freshman year. But you probably, you know, a little worried about, you know, screwing up and, you know, getting kicked out or having a nervous breakdown and, you know, you're looking for some advice. So um, here's a couple tips to survive, you know, your first year of college. Number one, um, when you're going into college, before you even start, make sure you know if you are planning to go to grad school, you know, um, med school, um, um, law school after college, because um, then your grades are going to be an important um, factor in getting in. Because, um, as you know, like a law school, you know, med school, especially, they can be pretty competitive. So your GPA will be one of the main things they're going to judge you on. So you can't screw up. You have you a lot of law schools may need like nearly straight A's or high, you know, 3.5 GPAs, which is not easy in college. It's not like high school. It, it's, it's tough to get these GPAs in, in college. And um, the point being is that it's a very different lifestyle if you're planning to go to med school after college versus if you're just trying to, um, you know, get that degree. So um, there's one group that's, you know, trying to, um, you know, go to, you know, grad school after college. That's, that's group one. Group two is just, the group of students that are just trying to pass and get their degree and you don't even have to really know like oh i want to you know be a you know be a i don't know um, be an accountant or be a you know be a teacher be a be, you know working on um, forensics um a lot of a lot of employers don't even care about your um, major or your gpa they just, they just care that you pass and get through college so if you're if you're not uh, you know um join you know studying 30 40 hours a week um you don't have to because you 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 can just you know get that you know 2.0 um and get that degree you know c's get degrees and so there's not really a point of you know working extra hard unless you unless you find it fun you know um to, to get that super high gpa because um college when it comes down to it it's it's really really um going to be learning about you know people and social skills um it's not really um primarily at least not anymore about um learning academic content because of the internet you can pretty much get information about any topic um any subject online nowadays so that brings me to my next my, my next point um tip number two is um learn to be social um college is a very social environment you're moving into a dorm you can be around people they're very close to people they they will stuff as many of you as many of you guys into the smallest room possible just to maximize you know their dollar so you're gonna have to get used to being around people um all the time and if you're not social or if you're like anti-social and you like don't like you know talking to other people you're gonna hate college you're gonna be miserable in college um so you shouldn't i don't know why you i don't know why you even um sign up for it like it, it's it, it's it's it should be, you know, pr pretty common knowledge that if you're in college, you're going to be um, in a social environment. You're going to be around a lot of people. And so if you're worried about, like, oh, I'm not good at making friends, you know, maybe you were, you know, quiet, like quiet and, and shy person um, in high school. Think You don't have to worry about that in college because first, there's not really a thing such as popularity in college because everyone is coming um for, into their first year nobody really knows each other they're, they're, you guys are all coming from around the world so no one's like more popular than the other it's not like there's not like a cool you know person or cool kid, kid or whatever it that doesn't really apply secondly everyone is in the same boat as you because they all they're all they're all trying to make friends too so they're all you know very open to talking to you and um they're eager for that. They're very that this college is literally the the best place to meet and make friends um, with people in the entire world. I would say it's if you're not making friends, it, it's uh, it's because you're trying to not make friends. You're like literally telling people like, hey, f you, I don't want to be your friend, and then you go lock yourself in your dorm for 25 hours a day. Um, you have to make an effort to not make friends. Otherwise, you got some issues. It's very easy to make friends in college. Um, it's like on the contrary it's like you make too many friends you meet too many people you forget names because you're meeting so many people all the time um so do not worry about that you'll be fine um it, it, it's again it, it's the, it's the main benefit of college you want to develop your social skills and networking um 
Now building off of that, the third thing I would advise is to not, um, you know, get frustrated or freak out about um, your your college environment or your dorm life. You're, you're going to be in a chaotic um, stage of your life, so to speak. Um, and your 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 dorm is going to um, sometimes be, you know, be super silent for, you know, days at a time and be super clean then all of a sudden um it's monday night at 3 a.m and you know your roommate comes in with you know three strangers and they're all you know you know drinking and then they end up barfing all over the couch and um they they uh end up making a mess or screaming or you know um just sorts of crazy crazy um shenanigans will, will just happen um some they'll be maybe you'll catch them doing you know blow in the bathroom or you know smoking weed and um you know uh random times you know um, when you're trying to you know go to sleep and the thing is is that that that's um that's part of, that's part of you know that's part of um the the college lifestyle I'm not saying that's going to happen every day it shouldn't but that will happen from time to time i have the craziest stories um about what uh what 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 about the nights that I've had and 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 college and um you shouldn't let that bother you or get frustrated or try to control it don't try to control the college environment just adapt to it um meaning that if you're a light sleeper um you know you get woken up e easily by noise then maybe invest you know like a really uh you know really strong you know what I don't know eye cover maybe wear two or three of them maybe get a couple of earplugs maybe get like a blackout curtains around your dorms. Um, that sort of thing, like just adapt to it, um, learn to deal with it. Um, for me, it wasn't an issue because I grew up in like a five, six sibling, um, house with like, you know, uh, you know, two bedrooms that we all sh we shared. So I was, I was used to chaos, which is why I'm a teacher. So I'm, I'm used to being in a chaotic environment. So college, that, that was, that was, that, those sort of sorts of things never, no, never bothered me, but you gotta be ready for that. Especially if you were someone, um, um, that was really held down or had, you know, had really strict parents that, you know, wouldn't let you even look at beer or stay out past nine. And um, drugs was like the worst thing in the world. And you were forbidden for um, even watching a movie that had, you know, cocaine in it. Um, or maybe your friend had parents like that. Usually, a lot of the time, those are the kids that go the craziest. It's It's a very interesting phenomenon. Like... I can just remember, like, um, some of my friends. It's they, uh, they, they, um, they let loose. They, they all, they've been held back, you know, all throughout high school. And now that they're free, they're like a wild animal. That's you know, a wild lion that's been caged up. And so you'd be surprised about um, um, what happens to um, or what kind of events happen um to some students. And it's it's not necessarily that that uh um. That, it, that leads them all downhill. It's just, you know, they have a wild night every now and then and they go like, whoa, I, I, I didn't know I, <laughs> I didn't know I, could, I, could, I, I would find that fun. Um, and, same, and, and same thing with you. You don't want to be a hypocrite um, um, if, you know, if sometimes you uh, try something new or let loose. And, um, and it's always nice that when um, you, have, uh, uh, you have something where you could say, uh, like n your roommate owes you one, you know, for, you know, barfing in your, for barfing in the sink or whatever on your carpet that one night, they they they'll they'll, they'll owe you one. They'll owe you one. They can't get mad at you for um any any shit that you um mess up with down the road. Um, now with that, that's be, you got to be a little self aware because you're a freshman now and you, you've been used to being the you know um a senior, so you've been used to being like the top dog on campus. But now you know you're back at the bottom of you know bottom of the social ladder, so to speak. Not not it's not exactly like high school. It's not like, you know, you're going to be looked down upon per se, but you're just, you're just a new, you're, you're new, you're new fish to, you know, to the, to, to the scene. Um, so, uh, be again, be, be self-aware and usually it's, it's the first, you know, I remember the first month or two, or maybe in the first semester, you're going to have seniors or upperclassmen that would just try to mess with you. Um, not in like a, you know, not in like a malicious, ter you know, hor horrific way, but just in some, they'll pull some funny pranks on you. Like for example, like it's always, it's always, 
it's always it's always enjoyable to see like the first weekend friday night saturday night freshmen will be you know going to out and trying to find a house party but they'll be in a group of like 30 of them they'll be like neck they'll be shoulder to shoulder walking so slow awkwardly because they don't know where they're going exactly they want to look cool it's it's funny their body language is just so weird and um that's the um other upperclassmen um will be hanging out on their balcony he's just targeting them with water balloons and stuff because it's just it's just funny just it's, it's just so easy to to mess with them because um uh, the kids, the freshmen, they don't know what to do. That's just one example. Um, and and um, you don't, don't learn to not take things like that personally. Um, another thing that's always funny is um, the first week of classes, everyone's, you know, has their new bike that they never writ that they've never ridden, and then they're all they're everyone's trying to go to their class at the same time. But no, but like again, a lot of them don't even um, know the pathways or have never been on campus before and they're riding this bike with a thousand or more other students zooming around and the crashes the craziest crashes happen because because they get lost or they they get distracted by you know a, a hot you know chick or an, on a bike or something like that or they're like looking at their phone like like a, like a dumbass and like they'll be they'll be um there'll be areas i remember at, at um ucsb where i went where we would have like lawn chairs and lay back and just by the traffic circles and just watch the crashes happen the first week because um it was it was just chaos. So um I would maybe advise you to maybe walk. We we'll just walk your classes the first two weeks um if you don't want to deal with that because it's it's chaos. It's it's crazy. It's, it's crazy fun to see that to see that that whole uh, <laughs> that the whole event unfold. Um makes makes for good makes for good TV honestly. But um. Oh, let's now let's, let's a couple more things about the classes because that's why you're, you're you're in college you know to learn to obviously you know, to, to you know get um you know your your mind expanded so you know you got to pass your classes and the thing is you have to remember that it's on you like there's nobody um on you hounding you to get the class and to do your homework study um it's if you screw up there's no one there to remind you um professors don't give a crap about whether or not you show up to class if you're sick on the midterm and you know and you email them oh can i make it up they're gonna they're gonna they're, they're not gonna even respond half the time they're they're gonna be like what are you the hell are you talking about no like you there are not makeup dates they're not like like you just have to be very responsible and and uh, accountable um so you want to develop a routine a routine that you can stick to because you're going again from high school where the routine was set for you um you know where you had to be at um at certain times of day the you had a uh, homework um you know regularly in these classes college is very different a lot most most classes usually will just have a midterm and a final or two or midterm paper and a final and that's it that's, that's really all you have to um that's all your grade is based on um and i'll tell you uh Half the notes will come from a textbook and half the notes will come from lecture. And that's like it. So then you, for like, you have to figure out how you're gonna um, handle that. Because I, I know for a fact that there are some of my students to never even read their textbook. They'll, they'll turn their textbook at the end of the year and it'll be dusty, it's never even been opened. Because they're so you know used to having teachers that actually teach and have notes for them and cover all the content in class. Whereas in college, especially at university, these professors usually don't give a crap about teaching. They 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 usually will be talking to the wall, um, then just scribbling um, stuff in like hieroglyphics um, faster than you can copy it down. Um, and they're just there because they um, have to do it as part of getting paid. Their university professors are usually there for the research. Um, community college professors um, actually are actually pretty good. I've learned. And I've had a lot of them. Um, as very good teachers, um, and I, I transferred from community college, um, and I will say that, yeah, community college professors are, can, are a lot of them are very good teachers, but university professors, I don't think I've ever had one that I would call a good teacher. Um, and it's not necessarily again, it's not necessarily their fault. They sometimes have a couple hundred kids to teach at teach you at a time. So um, with that, if you um you know if you know again um maybe down the road you're gonna need to get um you know a letter of reg maybe you want maybe you um um are planning to go to grad school like you know like i mentioned at the beginning um make friends with your professor um because go to go to their office hours 
because um what what I screwed up on is um I didn't decide to be a teacher till like my senior year, but I never like made, never went to any of my professor's office hours. I never because I hardly ever I hardly ever went to class. I was more of just reading the textbook and you know showing up on test days. But I didn't. I only had one letter of rec when I applied to grad school, and um you you needed three. By some miracle, I still got in, but um, I, I it was hard. It was something that stressed me out. Um, so um, something to keep in mind: make friends with your professors. The best time is during office hours. Um, and and building off of that, or you know, tied tied into that, know what your schedule is going to be um, um, for the next semester, or next year, two years down the road, because it's a battle signing up for classes. Um, especially when you're a freshman, you're usually gonna get um, last dibs. Um, the seniors usually get the earliest um, registration window because you know they're they're prioritized. And unfortunately, freshmen are you know given the scrap. So you usually have to battle for you know signing up for classes and you may not get the classes you want and your schedule is usually all over the place. And as you probably understand, colleges try to cram as many st students as they can um, every year into the you know into the school so sometimes there, i sometimes i feel like there's not even uh enough classes for all the students to sign up for i don't i don't know um if that's true or not but i definitely hear some horror stories about students getting screwed because they uh they messed up on their um scheduling or um they just uh showed up at the registration window late um that sort of thing. Plan ahead of time. Plan a backup schedule. Use rate my professors to look up, you know, um, instructors that you know are more more to you to your liking, and you know, use um, um resources and make friends with um class. Make friends with someone in your class because um it's 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 not easy to to always find people that are taking the same class as you because there's so many classes, so many majors on at at, at the at you know in college. That maybe no one in your dorm is even taking a single class, and maybe you're maybe you're absent for lecture one day, and you need the notes, and you don't um, have anyone to get them off of. So, so make a study buddy. Um, it's also great because um, um, during finals weeks, midterms, um, it's nice to have a group to study with. It's much more motivating, and um, there are some really smart people uh, in college uh, even if you were the smartest at your school or one of the smartest you'll be some these are like some some of these uh some of these some of the um people i met were like robots i met a kid that was like a double major in physics and math and he would just play on his computer like all the time and he was just getting straight a's and like differential equ equations it still blows my mind nowadays but people like that just are insanely smart um and last last thing um um just college you're gonna have a lot of you know first and a lot of um um good times bad times and since it's gonna be your first time you know trying or experiencing a lot of things you're most likely gonna be over dramatic about things um so be aware of that learn to not um get you know to get uh over like like overwhelmed with things that are actually really not a big deal in the grand schemes of things for, uh, like like maybe you never drank before and in one weekend you um overdo it and you black out and you wake up sunday morning like not remembering what happened and you like oh and then you think oh man, my life is over i can't believe i did that uh like i i, I embarrass myself and uh, it's it's like it, it happens it happens a lot to, to it's a regular thing in college i'll be honest um it's just just think of it as time traveling and so you know things just just learn to not um 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 be um dr dr be dramatic about things like that because they're really nobody really cares and um it's just all part of learning and from that my big thing i always try to tell everyone in college is Make sure you have good hygiene. Oh, like take good showers. Don't be like, especially if you're a guy, don't be that guy that takes a three minute shower and thinks that think think like that's cool or something. Like I, it takes me more than three minutes just to get the water temperature the right um the right level. I I be the guy that takes 20, 30 minute showers. Be clean. I nothing is worse than having a roommate that smells like you know I, I don't it smells like it smells like ass. It's, it's just the worst for me at least. That was my whole thing. Um. 
be be clean have an extra deodorant stick hanging around um and be aware that you're living with people um who have to who have to be around you all the time so um anyways um if, if any of that um advice helps um let me know um give me a like um subscribe and and any questions and feedback, leave it in the comments section. Cause I'm always curious about um, how you guys are doing. Um, and, and, and I hope you guys have a great, you know, first year of college.